Hey everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good today. It's been great to see so much positive feedback in the comments section lately. Due to technical problems, I'm temporarily stepping in as the narrator. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel, where we explore the secrets of our world and unravel the mysteries of the past and beyond. After hours of intensive research and exploration across various sources, I've uncovered some astonishing revelations that will challenge everything you thought you knew about history. Don't forget to check out the description box for more intriguing topics that you won't want to miss. I may not have top quality video, but I guarantee that the content is worth your time. Some may say I'm revisiting old ideas, but I believe it's important to question the narratives that have been fed to us and explore all possibilities. Stay in the loop with exclusive updates by joining my Telegram channel and make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So without further ado, fasten your pants together and let's get started. At the beginning of 1992, a team of scientists conducted an investigation into mineral deposits in the Ural Mountains of Russia. During the routine investigation, they discovered small, strange artifacts in the form of microscopic nanospirals made of copper, tungsten, or molybdenum. They believe it to be over 100,000 years old, but the purpose and origin of the artifacts is still a mystery. In 2014, researcher Georgi Sidorov, a proponent of unconventional theories about humanity's past, discovered massive megalithic structures in Siberia. The structures were made of giant granite stones and are believed to be older than previously known structures. Interestingly, mainstream scientists have been unable to explain the structures. Speculation has arisen that the megalithic structures were built by an ancient and now extinct civilization that possessed advanced high-tech knowledge. This view is supported by the discovery of the nanospirals in the Ural Mountains, which are seen as evidence of advanced knowledge possessed by a past civilization. These findings suggest that the ancient civilization may have had more advanced knowledge and technology than we know of today. However, this view is disputed by mainstream science, which posits that the nanospiral artifacts may simply be the result of natural processes or modern forgery. Nonetheless, this cannot explain the origin and true purpose of the artifacts. Debate over the nanospiral artifacts and megalithic structures is ongoing. Although there is no definitive evidence, the discoveries have caught the attention of the public and alternative researchers. They believe that there is still much unknown about human history and that lost ancient technology could provide new insights for modern humans. Regardless of the viewpoint taken, the discovery of the nanospiral artifacts and megalithic structures provide an opportunity to explore and question our current understanding of human history. As a cultured society, understanding and learning from history is an important step in understanding ourselves and the direction we want to take in the future. Giant bones discovered in Castelnau in 1890 have caused a stir in the world of anthropology. Georges Vachet de la Pouge, an anthropologist, discovered the bones during the excavation of a Bronze Age cemetery. These bones were found to belong to an individual who would have been approximately three meters tall, which is a highly unusual height for a human being. Zoologists and paleontologists from the University of Montpellier were called in to examine the bones, and they confirmed that the bones belonged to a very high race. These findings have led to speculation that the bones may belong to a race of giants that once roamed the earth. A few years later, workers in the area also dug up skulls up to 61 cm in diameter, adding to the mystery. The bones were sent to the French Academy of Sciences for research but were later lost, leaving behind a void of unanswered questions. The discovery of such large bones has caused an uproar in the world of anthropology, with some suggesting that this could be evidence of a lost civilization of giants. However, mainstream science has been unable to provide an explanation for the discovery of these giant bones. What do you think? 
Before I continue the video, please give it a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Thank you. By the way, there are funny things here. Helpful information from telescopesplus.com. Can you see objects left behind on the moon? Posted on May 4th, 2015. Unfortunately, the answer to this question is no. Not even the most powerful telescopes ever made are able to see these objects. The flag on the moon is 125 cm, 4 feet long. You would require a telescope around 200 meters in diameter to see it. The largest telescope now is the Keck telescope in Hawaii at 10 meters in diameter. Even the Hubble Space Telescope is only 2.4 meters in diameter. Resolving the lunar rover, which is 3.1 meters in length, would require a telescope 75 meters in diameter. So our backyard 6-inch and 8-inch telescopes are not even going to come close. And take a look at this. It says, how far the Hubble Telescope can see, about 13.4 billion light years away. The farthest observation that Hubble has made to date is of the galaxy GNZ-111, which is located about 13.4 billion light-years away. Source, NASA.gov. Let's scroll down a bit. People also ask, what's the farthest Hubble has seen? 28 billion light-years. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has broken another record. Located some 28 billion light-years away, thanks to the expanding universe, this 12.9 billion-year-old star named Irondel is between 50 and 500 times as massive as the Sun and millions of times as bright. Source, astronomy.com. Wait, well, don't laugh yet. How many galaxies can Hubble see? This view of nearly 10,000 galaxies is the deepest visible light image of the cosmos. Called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, this galaxy-studded view represents a deep core sample of the universe, cutting across billions of light years. The snapshot includes galaxies of various ages, sizes, shapes, and colors. Source, isayhubble.org. But we can't see the flag on the moon. Now you can laugh all you want. Now I'm eager to hear your thoughts. Did you find this video informative and valuable? If so, please support us by giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family. Let's work together to raise awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we go, I'd like to express my gratitude to the individuals who tirelessly researched and compiled the information presented in this video. Their hard work and dedication have helped shed light on important issues that affect us all. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time.